Happy Sabbath Church. Happy day. The title for our sermon is Children Have a Role to Do. Our scripture reading comes from the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Then you can, may I please come and read for us First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy day. Our scripture reading comes from the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be an example for the believers in your speech, your conduct, your love, faith, and purity. Thank you, Danish, for reading for us. I am going to tell you a story, and the title of our story is The Thirsty Crow. A crow is a bird. It was a hot afternoon, and the crow was very thirsty. It flew everywhere, searching for water, but it couldn't find water anywhere. So, this made him more sad and thirsty. It decided to fly in another direction. Soon, it saw a pot on the ground. It flew down to the pot. It peeked into the pot to get a drink. But the water was down at the bottom. It, the crow started of thinking of ways to get water from the pot. Pick up it, it looked around and saw stones on the ground. Pick up stones in his beak and drop them into the pot. One by one, he dropped the stones into the pot. The water level started to rise. Soon the pot was full, the crow was able to drink water. It drank water happily and flew back home satisfied. Before we listen to our sermon, let's have a word of prayer. Our kind and loving Father, we thank for this day. We thank for that gift of life. We thank you have kept us safe. May you help us to listen to what we are preaching of. Keep everyone safe. Help us to understand. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We are learning from the story of Noah. It comes from the book of Genesis chapter 6 and 7. Are there children who know about the story of Noah? Yes. I want three children to tell me what they know from the story of Noah. Let's watch a short video of the story of Noah. So what we, need, what we need to learn from the video, God sees everything. He sees me and he sees a child here. God sees everything. Genesis chapter 6 says, God saw all that was happening in the evil world, except he saw one good man, Noah. Do you know what we need to learn? God sees you. God sees me. He sees each child here and sees everything we do. God chose the last to do our part. God told Noah to build the ark. To build the ark. He would send a flood. Children, what we need to know is, is, what we need to know, children, is we should do our part. God has chosen us to build our ark. Our ark is not going to be a big boat, but the ark I am speaking of is something or, or anywhere he has told you to go or do. It may be to build Mount Olive's church. It may be to serve in the children's church. It may be to help at home. It may be to help at school and many more. Do we have to first see God's first to obey? No. Noah had never seen God's face, but he knew God through his parents, through, through God's voice. Noah trusted God. Noah had never seen face to face. Children, we ought to, to know that God, who our teachers and parents have taught us and introduced us. And our truths we know. And we should also learn to do our part. 
men, other people may mock or laugh at us. Noah was building an ark after Noah built the ark. God told Noah who would send my train and they flood. Noah told many people, many people didn't believe Noah. Children, what we need to know, people may laugh and mock at us, but keep doing your part like Noah. People will say, you don't know what you're doing, but keep doing your part like Noah. People may say, that's not possible. Possible, no one has ever done it before. But keep doing your part like Noah. Will it always be easy? No. Noah had to cut big trees, chop the wood, and make the ark. He, he was working hard. Children, God has chosen us, but things may not be easy. But we should learn to do our part with all our soul. Will it always be quick or fast? No, for him it took over 120 years to finish the act. That's a very long time. Children, what we need to know, God has chosen us, but things may not be quick or fast. But we should do our part. Did Noah do it alone? No. Noah did it with the help of his children and family. Do, do we obey when we have the other things to do? Yes. I think Noah had other things to do. He may have to farm up his food, dig his food. He may have to look after his family. But Noah didn't make an excuse. Children, we should, what we should learn, we shouldn't make excuses whenever we are asked to do something. We shouldn't say we shall do it tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. Did Noah do it alone? No. Noah did it, did it with the help of his children and family. He liked his wife helped him to cook the food. His children helped him to build the ark and, and cut the big wood and carry it. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Danish, can you please read us First Timothy chapter 4 verse 12? It says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But be an example for the believers in your speech, your conduct, your love, faith, and purity. Amen. Thank you for, for us. I repeat, First Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 says, Let no one look down on you because you are young. As a child of God, you have part or a role to do. What does that mean? That means it means we have a part, we have a role to play or to do. Back to our artistic crow. Where there is a will, there is a way. If we are determined to do something, we shall get more ways to do it. We shall get more ways to do it. Like the crow has children. If we are willing to work for God, we shall get small ways that we can work for God. Like saving money to build a temple and helping at church. If we are willing to help at home, home we shall get small ways we can help at home. Like sweeping, mopping, and picking up toys. If we are willing to help at school or anywhere we are, we shall get to our ways we can be helpful. Then we can happily say we did our part for God. God doesn't need very many people. He just needs a few people who are not afraid to do what he says in faith. Those, and he wants those who are willing and obedient. Is it me? Is it you? God says, whom shall I send who will go? Shall we answer, here I am, Lord, send me? Thank you for listening. I'm going to speak for you a special item of whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? And who will go? Whom shall I send? And who will go? Whom shall I send? And who will go? Here I am, Lord, send me, send me. They that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. 
that's right. Whom shall I send and who will go? Whom shall I send and who will go? Whom shall I send and who will come? Here I